My early home. The very first place that I can remember was a large, pleasant meadow. To start with, I lived on my mother's milk, but as soon as I could eat grass, she had to go out to work, and she came home in the evening. There were six young colts in the meadow besides me. We had great fun galloping around, although they would sometimes bite and kick. One day, my mother whinnied to me to come to her. Then she said, "The colts who live here are very good colts, but they are cart horse colts, and of course they have not learned manners. I hope you will grow up gentle and good and never learn bad ways." Do your work as well as you can, and never bite or kick, even just in play. My mother was a wise old horse, and I have never forgotten her advice. Her name was Duchess, but our master often called her Pet. As I grew older, I grew handsome. I had one white foot and a pretty white star on my forehead. My black coat grew fine and soft. When I was four years old, Squire Gordon came to look at me. He seemed to like me and said, "When he has been broken in, he will do very well." My master said he would break me in himself, so that I would not be frightened or hurt. Breaking in means to teach a horse to wear a saddle and bridle, and to carry someone safely on his back. He must also learn to pull a carriage or cart. Going fast or slow, just as his driver wishes, he has to learn never to bite or kick, nor to jump at anything he sees. Even with a good master like mine, it was slow work, but at last it was done. Next came iron shoes, that was frightening, but the blacksmith did not hurt me, even when he drove nails through the shoe right into my hoof. My feet seemed stiff and heavy afterwards, but in time I got used to that. Now that I was ready to leave home, my mother said to me, "I hope you will fall into good hands, but a horse never knows who may buy him or who may drive him. Some men are kind and thoughtful, like our master; others can be cruel. Remember, do your best, whatever happens, and keep up your good name."